it was great working with shankar sir and uh, ramcharan sir kiara uh, many actors it's very rare to see a series that way where all actors perform equally they pulled a big prank on me uh, the, you know they said there is a real snake uh, you know <laughs> yeah there's a real snake coming and you got to act don't worry we will take <laughs> and all that and then they brought the <laughs> <laughs> the dummy cake uh, the snake which i thought it's it's actually real and i jumped out of the compound and ran away so that day that day <laughs> for all film related interviews reviews and content please like and subscribe to pooja talwar you can also follow me on twitter and on instagram many congratulations were you all expecting this response firstly i want to ask this question who's going to start <laughs> we wished for it we all wished for it but uh, we kind of expected it to pick up a little late you know we thought because uh, uh, you know it, it it's it's compared to the other biggies in the industry and you know the other uh, you know uh, projects that are coming out and films that are coming out we thought that you know people will first watch and the word of mouth will spread and it will take like a week or 10 days for people to actually start talking about it saying that oh there's this show called inspector rishi and it's nice but we didn't expect it like in in 2 3 days for this kind of a wonderful reception coming from the audience is something that we did not expect but you know have you realized i mean inspector rishi is also in now in the list of these movies that everyone feels it will take time but we are seeing across these are the kind of you know series and movies that are doing well and resonating with the audience yes. i think because i think they find a connect with the characters and also they it seems like stories they relate to yes i agree yeah so navin you are playing the titular character you know yeah. there's a lot happening in his life firstly tell me something were you scared i mean because you know when you're shooting something like this there's the scare of the unknown then there is a scare of the jungle then there is a scare of the thriller so how scared were you or are you one of those fearless brave hearts i am a fearless brave heart uh, because i uh, somewhere I'm, i love forest i travel a lot in jungles for mm-hmm. safaris night stays camping and all so you are rishi again <laughs> <laughs> she picked me right i think and uh, i i that time i, I finished my uh, camping in the masina gudi forest and i came back was at home then i get a call from a message from an andri ji saying that uh, there is a script for you i want to pitch for him okay sir then she sent me a pitch deck and i see again a dense forest there i felt this is for me i think this is written for me so i just came in and yeah uh, i was not scared but uh, the hallucination of anarachi yeah. the hallucination of viji was with me because Uh, we were shooting uh, in a tough conditions like uh, even the sh- schedule was so tight for us because of the weather weather conditions where nandini and her team should pull out this huge series with vfx at the same time with performances and artwork yeah so in that process somewhere we all got involved together and we were feeling vanarachi but yeah uh, five girls i think they played as vanarachi in the film and uh, I have taken all the selfies with all my Vanarachis, and I just showered my love to them because people are scared about Vanarachi now. <laughs> They are liking her a lot. They wanted to see her more, and uh, especially the fashion designing, what was done to her with the red sari and all, she was looking beautiful. When I watched the series, I felt, oh, Naveen, you should have loved her also. <laughs> <laughs> so Naveen is actually the original Tarzan boy, huh? Yeah. You are Tarzan, no? <laughs> yeah like uh again in my childhood like uh, most of the time i used to climb trees i used to jump i used to like uh, jump in a river like and swimming like i'm so like uh, lucky to be a part of that place called hampi i belong yes. uh, from ballari oh, where everything for a like uh, a lovely place it is so you explore yourself a lot with a lot of stories with uh, like if you see hampi vijayanagar empire there is lot of stories inside that yeah. somewhere i don't know i, I connected a lot with nandini ji's idea about the supernatural thing at the same time uh, the haunting of a girlfriend at the same time being in love at the same time 
the suspense and uh, the friendship and the trust between the characters the best part i liked in the series was the characters every character had a story and uh, it's very rare to see a series that way where all actors perform equally and i i personally feel uh, without bargav do you play catherine she is an interesting character because uh, are you anything like her also i like the fact about the you know she is a beat ranger she is also a woman trying to make her place in a man's world because you know forest usually has been synonymous with men can do it not women but we are seeing a whole lot of stor- stories like these coming up so what was uh, it like for you to step into the shoes of cat um i i i don't know how uh, it was uh, i mean whether people thought that i i would have worked hard or uh, you know no for this uh, for this role because it seems very uh, easy going and very uh, sort of but i am not like the way i i am in my mm-hmm. life i'm not like catherine um at all and um, it it was a little so i sort of tried to isolate myself right before the shoot uh, because me being a city girl and uh, doing a ca- character like uh, you know what i did in inspector rishi was uh, was like me jumping from here to there so i had to isolate myself uh, for a for a couple of days i went to a hotel the process was uh, and i and i stayed there alone and i think i told my director about it and um, i was trying to get into a zone where i wanted to shift from this to that and uh, it it for me it was actually um, quite uh, difficult because the earlier characters that i had done or i had shot films that i had shot for were completely different so the process i i enjoyed it a lot but it was also very difficult and about like making in a man's world i don't think catherine uh, she she's naturally like she's not thinking you know a lot of us like we don't even think about it we are just those women that we are not thinking of oh i want to make in uh, make it in a man's world and i want to do this and that we just naturally um, you know i i think all women are like that but um, I don't think Catherine is, uh, you know, thinking about that. She's naturally just, you know, uh, you know, doing because she also one of the dialogues is that you know she heard that they are uh, they they are looking for uh, you know meet uh, uh, forest guards and I immediately or in a apply for it. There's also a you know dialogue like that in the series. So very naturally she's just doing stuff. So she's not thinking of all of that and. Uh, she's uh, of course to be in a forest you have to be a certain kind of like you have to be a li- little tough and uh, all of those things but at the same time she's also very soft uh, softy uh, so it was uh, it was very interesting it was very uh, interesting because you uh, either this or that so to be a blend of both it 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 was fun to uh, play that and i got a lot of inputs from uh, my director nandini like i i think uh, that was a great guidance for me i don't think i would have done kathy uh, the way i did if it oh. wasn't uh, for for her uh, you know guidance and the the final touches that she gave and um, uh, sri krishna they are coming to you you play the animal whisperer i mean do you connect with animals this is what i want to ask you and because there's something i would want to do in life be an animal whisperer because i feel they're far more interesting to talk to than people around so what was that like for you so there are two things here uh, my uh, love for forest is uh, is different i mean that's that's something i'm naturally inclined i love forest i like uh, being in the hill stations and uh, going around the forest because of me i think coming from the coastal side i've seen enough of uh, beaches so my uh, liking for forest is always there uh, animals uh, no not really actually <laughs> you know i'm not so i know for good actor then <laughs> i mean i mean my team would know uh, uh, what and all i had to go through <laughs> you know <laughs> <laughs> you have to go through you have a experience sorry 
What did you go through? Did, it, did something happen? Or were oh, you scared? They, they pulled a big prank on me. Uh, the, you know, they said there is a real snake, uh, you know, yeah, there's a real snake coming and you got to act. Don't worry, we will take that <laughs> and all that. And then they brought the... <laughs> <laughs> the dummy cake the, the snake which I thought it's it's actually real and I jumped out of the compound and ran away. So the tail that day. <laughs> and, you were the one who did that. My director said, <laughs> What what the hell is going on? I mean, you know, we, we, we made a monster. False we, 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 I think we both planned something yeah. and scared of it. <laughs> so, so. Just ran from the set like 10 steps like <laughs> Yeah, you're like, like you're behind the scenes as well. So, so yeah, so so that's that's the. Uh, but I'm very environment conscious. I've been part of. Uh, I'm I'm still part of quite a few activities and uh, and uh, forums and groups. So I'm part of uh, waste segregations. I'm part of uh, lake restorations. So all that comes naturally. Uh, I think. Uh, so that kind of uh, helped me and uh, doing a little bit of uh, homework, trekking into. In the jungle with the uh, forest rangers, uh, all that helped. All that helped to see the eyes of a forester. Yeah. Ravi, what about you? You are the one who is actually his nemesis. So, uh, what was the other inspector who basically wants him out? So, what was for you to get into your character, into his headspace? Uh, into the character, Ayana's character. Yeah, I, uh, what... Dynamics with like, Rishi, basically, that's, yeah. Yeah, it actually happens, right? We can relate it, with, uh, relate it to the every stage of our life. Like, if we are capable of doing something in life, and if it's not happening at the stage, and because of the power and uh, the hierarchy, and this is how the system works. So, he wants to do it, but he is not capable. That, that exact conflict that worked me like that it, it worked me very well and uh, it's like INR, INR is also equally capable but also Rishi is also more capable than that but here the situation is like he has to have a conflict without even understanding where he is coming from what is what is his background and why he is doing the conflict will be there and uh, by the series itself he'll be having a good friendship without doing without even showing that that Yes, we are friends. We know that we are friends. Okay, but well, let's do the job. <laughs> that kind of uh, equation I liked. So that's what I enjoyed. Even uh, we haven't met before. Uh, Naveen and me haven't worked before. So we do, I don't even know Naveen. So it happened like, okay, he's playing Rishi. Hi, hello, sir. Hi, hi. So it happened. And uh, when the reading happened, it was like it was so real. The first scene, uh, hi, sir. Hi, Nath. Hi, Chitra. The first scene we auditioned, th that time itself, I had a very good connect with the actor and he is doing it in a proper way. So, yeah, let me do this. It, this is going to be kick-ass. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. It's going to be a, a interesting, interesting performance-oriented uh, scene. So, let's... And Nandini, it's very interesting that how you blended the supernatural mystery thriller, but also the show says a lot of things. It addresses a lot of points, like whether it's homophobia, yes. it's tribal relocation, whether yeah. it's a society burdened by superstition. Mm -hmm. How did this all come about? Was it something that you read, inspired by, taken in by? Because it look, it is very realistic. It is, mm -hmm. and this does happen. Yeah. No, the uh, supernatural versus the science uh, or the reality is something that I have been questioning all my life. You know, I have. Uh, in my family and, and close circle, there have been people who have had this uh, supernatural experiences and there are people who are very skeptical about it also. So I could see those two sides and I've always been very curious about what the truth is. Like I wanted to know. I wanted to know if there was a God. I wanted to know if there's spirits or I wanted to know if uh, if everybody is actually having psychological problems. Is that is that, is that as simple as that? Are we all having psychological issues? Are we actually sensing things or seeing things that others are unable to see or experience? So those those questions have always made me get uh, very interested with the horror genre. And, uh, you know, I, I've been, uh, I've, I've watched quite a number of horror films since childhood. Um, whether good or bad, I'll watch a horror film. It's like that. 
and the other horrors of the society is also what i wanted to talk yeah. about in the series see if it's it was just a 2 hour or 2 and a half hour film we can very much limit ourselves to the the main plot of the story and just uh, stick to those three four characters and only develop those characters and then make it a very incidental rush towards the ending of the film but when it comes to a long form series and i've grown up watching all these uh, you know many 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 uh, shows which had like 21 and 24 episodes per season and we used to watch five seasons we used to wait for those shows every week you know and um, after watching so much um, and as a creator i do love those long formats which are made in brilliant with brilliant technical quality also I, i'm not talking about the tv soaps that are coming so yeah. there were only two mediums like tv soaps and then films so i was more interested with those uh, shows with uh, wonderful technical quality great storytelling uh, the uh, character development of other characters also subplots also um, but ott is a very new medium which is uh, which is what is uh, like okay can you do it in six episodes or eight episodes or 10 episodes there's always like uh, is this right or wrong and it keeps changing you know it keeps changing uh, like uh, this this kind of show in Spectre sheet took almost five years for it to materialize. From you know when I, it was twenty nineteen when I uh, when I signed with Amazon uh, Prime Video, and um, it's twenty twenty four when it comes out. So in these five years, the audiences' preferences and tastes and watching habits have also changed a lot. Um, so uh, that's why the question of um, uh, why are these subplots there? You know what are these other stories that are coming into this main story? um but uh, i have written it from the heart because i wanted people to know ayanar and chitra and satya and kathy as much as they knew rishi yeah. and in fact rishi is still a little mysterious like you can't really understand him in the first three episodes i have not given it in black and white i have not said okay this is the protagonist now you know him now let's go to the story i have not given an intro like that for him it actually takes 10 episodes for someone to understand who rishi is so i knew that um, i as a long format um, even if it was eight episodes i would have still given importance to all these other beautiful characters which are ayanar and chitra and satya and kathy and irfan because uh, we have uh, a story where people are it's it, there's danger in it you know there's there's a there's a spiritual entity that might kill people so when i put these characters into the danger zone i want the audiences to you know worry about them you know worry about their you know connect and respond to you you i don't want something to happen to chitra i don't want anything to happen to kathy so in order for that you need to show who they are otherwise they'll just be like walking characters who'll just you know they are just uh, killed in in some episode and they are like oh she died oh he died the audience won't care so that is one of the reasons why i elaborated on the characters and also uh, the personal demons of each character so what is rishi's personal demon what is ayanar's demon what is chitra's demon what is her problems what her conflicts that um, that she is unable to uh, you know it's not just the ghost of that is very apparent on the outside it is what you are dealing with inside your mind uh, so that that is the reason why i wrote like that absolutely And Navi, now you have a big movie coming out, Game Changer. Here you've done a series. Yeah. What is creatively more satisfying, and what beans can you spill on your new project? Uh, I sorry, I didn't. Uh, I said, what beans can you also spill on your new project that everyone's waiting for? <laughs> uh, I I can't talk much about Game Changer now because we are we are still shooting. Uh, uh, since we have a like a released one song from Game Changer, so response would have like is very great. Uh, i think some million views the songs have done and uh, <clears throat> it was great working with shankar sir and uh, ramcharan sir kiara uh, many actors there because uh, it was a true uh, like uh, dream come true kind of a film because i used to see his films a lot when i was a child and like gentleman lot of films but today like uh, when he comes to uh, explain the scene he puts his hand on my shoulder and say navin do this do that and you did this good and all so it feels great and uh, i even i'm excited that uh, when would be the release date announced still the process is on 
So, I mean, what is I, my first question was, what is more creatively satisfying, a series or a film? Oh, for, sorry. For, yeah, for, See, a for any of you actors can answer that. What is creatively more satisfying? See, uh, I think uh, uh, is it a series or a film? But our job is to act. Uh, our job is to perform and take the responsibility of a director's and writer's job. So that what they have imagined, the thought which has come from their brains and mind, at least as an actor, we, sh we should at least be there for a while until the shooting process is there. It depends on the writing, directors, and the, the surroundings where you, like, like Sunina does, she takes, she just comes on set and she tries to get the surroundings in her. Okay. She feels that. So I feel it's all the same. Is it a series or a film? Yes. I want to act and any, any, any form of a format, I'm there. I can, I want to act actually. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Can we expect uh, Inspector Rishi season two now? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. If you've liked this interview, please like, share and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram.